what's up my peoples, and go here the freaking geek himself, and it's time to just transform x transbots fast. So without further ado, let's just transform it. So the first thing we want to do here is we want to open up the door. You also want to take this section right here and swing this out as well. Do this on both sides, open up the door, and swing open this side as well. Once we've done that, you're going to take this fender section and rotate that down. Take that fender section and rotate that down. You can take these and just kind of tuck them under just to get them out of your way. Once you've done that, you're going to come back here and you're going to take this entire wheel section here and untab it. does tab it here as well, so make sure you get that tab undone and bring that up. Same thing here, just untab that wheel section. Make sure you untab this section as well. And just bring that up. And now you want to undo the windshield here. It does tab in, it may help if you split the legs. It'll help kind of get everything undone for you there. There we go. So undo that right there. And now you're just going to extend this entire section here. So basically you're rotating the legs. So you just kind of want to start rotating the legs and then that will help you straighten all this out and then just continue rotating those hips around and extend all that out like that. So now you want to extend the leg, there's a little double joint here in the knee. So extend that and then you can take this little panel here and close that up. Do the same thing on the other side. So again, just extend those joints in there and then you can close this little panel up. And then you just want to take what will be his foot and extend all of this out. Just grab the toe, just extend that out. I'm just kind of get that up. You can round rotate it out to the side just to get it out of your way. You then want to open up this panel here. There's a second panel you want to flip out. And then you have this little section here that you want to bring up. Now you want to take this door section here, you want to swing it up, you want to open up the trunk here, take this panel of the trunk and flip it in, fold it in, you'd have to do a bit of flexing to get around things, which I'm not a fan of, but just get that folded up like that, once you do that you can close that back up and this entire assembly will just rotate in, make sure this is out of your way, and just rotate that around so it's sitting in there. And it looks like that. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this little bit right here and swing this out to the side. So it's looking like that. You want to take the door here. It's on a little pin. You just want to slide that up. And then you're going to rotate that in like so. Rotate that around. Then you're going to bring all of this down you want to fold in that window there and then all this will tuck right in here like that and you're going to have two connection points two tabs slot connection points one right there and one right there so you just line that up and push that in like so and then you take this section and you just bring that over to close that up so now for the foot, uh, first take this little section here, just bring that out, get it out of your way. You want to take this assembly here with the wheels, you want to rotate it around. So now these two wheels are facing out. You take this wheel and fold it down like so. And then you can take this panel here and just rotate it up as well. And then this will just sit over that wheel. It's not elegant, but that's where it goes. And then you take these little wheels right here and just rotate them around. This little little post, little thooping point right there. And once you've done that, you can just take the foot and just compress that up. And they have a leg all done, and second verse is just like the first. So again, we're going to take this door, raise it up, get it out of the way. We can take this bit here and also swing that out. We want to grab the toes here and extend it out, get that out of the way. You can just kind of rotate it out just for some extra clearance. Then you're going to take this panel, flip it down, flip out this panel here, flip up this little section right here, open up that hood, get this section of it folded in. Again, you're flexing stuff. I don't like flexing stuff. There we go. Bring that around, then close that up and rotate all of that around. 
take the door, slide it up, and then rotate it around, and then just drop all of this down, bring that window in, and just slot all of this in. Like so, make sure you get everything lined up in here. There's also a tab slot connection that happens right here as well up front. So make sure you have that in place. And they can get these tabs in place. Just push that in, push that in, and then take this and close that up. Take this and just get that up and out of the way. Rotate these double wheels out. Take this wheel and just flip that in. Flip all of this in, and then bring that over, like so. Take these little wheels here, rotate these around, and then compress that up. And there you have the legs all done. So the next thing you want to do is you want to just untab these seats from back here and just basically flatten them out. You got the steering wheel on this side, you can just kind of flatten this out. Like that, and then bring that seat over it, so it's sitting right there. Uh, you have these bits right here as well that you want to flip out on either side. Just get there, and flip that out. You want to take this rear windshield section here, and just untab it, pop that up. Let's get all that freed up there, and then we're going to take this section here. Tabs into two places, it tabs in right up here and then tabs together. So kind of do this either way, just kind of pop that up and just swing these out to the side like that. Once that is done, you can take what will be his arms and just swing them down. Kind of want to lift them up just a little bit and swing them down. So now what you want to do is take this entire section here and just swing this up. This is on double hinge here, so you can kind of rock this back. So you have the clearance to bring this back and then fold it over on this hinge. So it looks like that. And then you want to take these bits and flip them in. Bring these wheels down on these hinges here and then just rotate all of that in like that. And now you want to take these sections here and just rotate them down like that. At this point, I like to turn his head around because it's the easiest time to do it. Since you have these armatures around his head. There you go. Just get a better hold of it. Then you can turn his head around. So then you want to take the shoulders and just rotate them in on that hinge. You can rotate the main hinge also. Just bring them all the way forward just to get them out of your way. And once we've done that, we can take this whole backpack assembly here. And you want to make sure these are kind of out of the way as well. So you kind of rotate these down and bring this whole backpack assembly down. You see the sections are on double hinge, make sure that they are shifted up like so. You can rotate that down. And again, make sure this double hinge is in the upward position like that. And then you can take these two halves and tab them together. Get that situated. You can kind of tuck that in and angle that like so. Now you need to bring his arms up just so you can see what you're doing here. So what's going to happen, you have this top section here, which you can see is on double hinge. This is going to shift back, like so, and then there are little tab notch connections right here. And once you get it all in place, it should just kind of sit right there. It takes a little bit of doing, but once you get it in, there we go. And you got it sitting just like that. And then you can compress this waist assembly down. Just kind of bring it back. Just kind of accordion this up. So it's sitting straight like that. And then there's a tab that will go into a slot right back here. So if you have everything just right. Oh, and also there is these little sections here. They have little nubs that they will sit over. So if you have everything sitting just right. There you go. A little waist piece should be aligned. And now you should be able to just tab this little back panel in so it's sitting in there just like that. And we're at the home stretch here, just gotta do the arms. So untab this panel here, rotate the arm forward. You can close that up and then you can extend the arm, rotate it, and flip out the hand. Bring the arm down, and they have that all done. 
second verse to set the first. Open that up and rotate the arm forward. Close that back up. Extend the arm. Rotate. Flip out the hand. Bring the arm down. And there you go. There you have Fast in his robot mode. And to get him back into robot mode, we're going to start off with the arms here. Rotate the arms forward. You want to take the hand and flip it in. You want to make sure you open his fingers just a little bit. So they will sit over that section right there. Rotate the arm in and then compress it all the way in until you hear it snap. Then you want to open up this panel and then just rotate the section of the arm down and this panel will just tab in right there. And you got that all done. Second verse is like the first. Rotate that arm up. Again, just open that hand just a little bit just so you can get the hand where it needs to go. Right there. Rotate the arm in. Compress that all the way up. Again, make sure it snaps. Open that up, rotate that down, and tab that panel in right there. And now you want to just untab this back panel here, bring this up. We can extend this waist section here. Make sure you just push these side sections of his waist out. Just push them off in their little hooping points. And then you can just extend all of these hinges here. Just straighten all of that out. You can also take this little top section here, so collar section, and just kind of pop that up and bring it forward like that. You can then untab, little head canopy there, swing it out on those double hinges, swing that out, and then you can swing all of this up. Again, I think this is the best time to take his head and rotate it around, since you have the ability to do so. And once that is done we can start just opening things up here so take these wheel sections bring them out flip these out and then flip these little panels out like that you can take these and again just kind of rotate them so they're out of your way and then open this up and rotate this forward make sure you bring the shoulders back on this hinge right here like that Bring them out like that, and then just kind of rotate them in, rotate them in, leave them out. So they're kind of sitting like that. And take this assembly here, again you have that hinge, just take this and just shift that forward. Shift all that forward, and that sits right there. So now you want to make sure that these double hinges right here are in the uppermost position. You want to make sure they're sitting right there just like that and then you can take the arms and swing them in like so and like that and just use all the hinges here at your disposal to just get those arms sitting together make sure everything stays together there we go and there's a tab slot connection right there just tab those arms together like that and once that is done you can take these and just swing them in and swing that in and they're just going to tap together right back here and you're going to have little tab slots that happen right in here and you can just push those down like so get all together like that and then this back windshield section has little tabs and slots to get that all sitting together so it's looking like that and next we can take the seats and just bring them back and just straighten those out, just bring that back, straighten it out, and you gotta get the steering wheel back into position as well. Gotta bring it down that double hinge, that'll sit like that. And just straighten that seat out right there. You can take these little bits right here and flip those in. Now to start with the legs, just extend that foot out, and you can rotate it in, take this, and swing that out. Take this and just swing that down. Take these little wheels here, rotate them around. Take this wheel here and flip that up. And then just rotate all of this around like that. You can then take this panel right here and just untab it. You can just untab the door and straighten out that windshield. You can take this bit here 
and bring that up and then you can bring all of this up right here you can take the door now and just rotate it around like that and bring it down on that little pin like so and then bring this piece down you can see they'll end up just kind of sitting on a notch right there that's how that works so now we will take this section here and rotate it outward open up the trunk here flip out this panel again we have minimal clearance and i don't like it but <laughs> flip that out like so then you can close that back up you want to take this little bit here and just flip that down on that double hinge flip this panel in and then flip all of this in and now you can take the foot just straighten it out and you can just compress it right back down into the leg so it's looking like that and then you can bring all of this back down like so you can bend the knee so you can open this little panel up and then you can just compress this hinge back in like so and they have that side all done and now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just extend that foot out. You can rotate it in. And it's a little armature here. Rotate that back. Take this panel here and just swing that down. Get it out of the way. Take these wheels and rotate them around. Take this wheel and flip that up. Then just rotate all of this in like so. Once that's done, you can untab this panel here, untab, untab, then you can untab the door, open that up, take the section here, swing that out, get that out, bring that up, and then rotate the door around, slide it down on that slider there, you can bring this down as well, and get everything sitting like that and we can then rot rotate this section out like so bring up the hood unfold the hood flex plastic get that open flip this little section down on those double hinges flip this panel in and flip this whole section in and once you got that you can straighten out the foot and Compress all of that in, so it's all sitting nice and flush, like that. Close that up, bring all of this down. At this point you can bend the knee, so you can open this little panel up, right here. And then just compress that knee in, like that. And once that's done, you're going to take two halves and dab it all together. So now we're going to rotate the legs. So just get them started, bring them around. As you're folding all this in, again, use all those hinges here at your disposal. Just rotate all that in. So it's sitting right there like that. And you have tab slot connection that's gonna happen right in there for the windshield. So you can just take that and just drop it down into place. So now we can start working on the finishing touches here. So first thing we want to do is start folding all this down. Just so make sure you're kind of holding. You want to you want to hold this little panel right here right above the hinge. So you can just kind of pop that down. And you're going to have a tab slot connection right here as well as a tab slot connection is going to happen right there. So I find it helps to get that tab in first and they can just kind of line that up and drop it down with no problem. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, just hold this little section right above the hinge. Just you can pop that down. And then you can get all of your tabs located. So tab that in and then tab that wheel in. And we got that done. Make sure you have these little bits out. Like that. So you can rotate this up. And there's a little post port connection that happens right there. And then you just bring this back. And there's a tab slot connection that happens right there. Just tab that in. There's also a little tab slot connection right here. It just kind of notches in 
to line that up. Same thing on the other side. Just bring that up. Make sure that post and that port connect. Bring that back and tab that in. Get that lined up so that all line up. I need to stick the doors. You slide them forward. There's a little tab slot connection that happens right there. Let's get that lined up. Pop it in. And of course, the very last thing is going to fight me. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Get all nice and squozen. And there you go. There you have fast back in alt mode.